Utility officials say the early outlook for this winter is much more positive than it was last year. Customer bills soared in January when natural gas prices climbed into record territory. The cost of the commodity more than doubled from the year before. Utility officials say unusually cold weather conspired with pipeline repairs and low inventories to push prices up. Currently, there's much more supply availability in the West compared to last year. So most of the pipeline outages have been res- resolved, um, and, and that's a huge deal, especially with the return of El Paso Line 2000. Market watchers are hopeful that will push prices down significantly from last year's record high rates. The price of a thermal unit hit $5.11 in January, a time when gas use in San Diego is highest. Healthy supplies and reserves can pull prices down. They're up by 9% overall, but in the West, they're up by 14%. So having more in reserve keeps prices down because utilities can draw down those reserves to produce uh, or provide natural gas to help families with home heating. One thing utility officials are keeping an eye on is the weather. And El Nino is expected to influence California's winter, but the exact impact remains uncertain. Meanwhile, consumer advocates are pushing the state's utilities to do better. Sempra, the parent company of sdg e that buys all this gas, did a very poor job. They failed last year to do proper management to keep the prices down. Winter comes every year, and every year there needs to be good management of buying ahead of time, storing the right amount of gas. Mark Tony says SDG&E needs to do more before rates go through the roof. San Diego Gas and Electric officials say they spoke out before last winter's price hike to alert customers, and the utility offered grants to help customers offset some past due bills. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.